Hello, my star family. How are you guys doing? And welcome to Rockin' with the Stars. And I don't be mention mentioning my name. Um, my name is Petra. If you are new here, I need to start saying that. Um, but yeah, welcome, welcome. So I'm just gonna get right into it with star shit of the day. Like, um, and if you are new, star shit is literally anything that is, you know, related to star quality shit it's like it's about the soul like spiritual shit anything that gives you that you know deeper meaning behind things like whether it's a post a movie or anything like that so that is what's considered star shit of the day so to, on today's star shit of the day i have to mention like my new team member my new team me uh, Zaporia, like, I'm just so, 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 so grateful to be building my team. And I'm so glad that she is now joined my team. Like, y'all, I have to say this, like, and this also ties into Star Shitter today because I made a post on my story um, a minute ago. It was like a week ago, right, when I joined the Soul Portal, right? So, I joined the Soul Portal. Um, and if you don't know, uh... I've been talking about the Soul Portal. Like, I feel like mainly of my um, viewers know about the Soul Portal. But if you don't know, um, it's essentially this business that's all about mind, body, and soul health. And um, it's like an umbrella. So you join the Soul Portal and you have the opportunity to do whatever you choose to do with your business, you know, whether that is like, you know, fitness and health, spiritual or whatever you choose so they give you the opportunity to you know like they just let you do what you like to do you know um put your business how you would like to put your business right so i joined the soul portal and i was like i'm definitely on a mission to like build a community so i'm slowly like little by little you know um you know promoting it and saying like hey whoever is this whoever is interested like let me like don't be scared to let me know like definitely dm me message me or whatever and i will definitely be there like i will let you i will tell you all the information that you need to know about the business or whatever and you can see i, I put it in your hands and you can see if that's something that is that is fit for you right so i made a post on instagram on my story and i was just like um i told i said i put a little information about the business or whatever and what um it means to join a team and all of that all the perks and stuff of joining and then the last um the last post that i did was like um I said, are you ready to join my team? And I was like, I put one as like, yes, like, I'm ready, I'm ready. The next one, the next prompt was like, um, I need a little bit more information. And then the last one was, nah, I'll pass. Listen, I set myself up for that, okay? <laughs> because, girl, why? Why did somebody click, nah, I'll pass? And I was just like, sis, like... You know what, but I couldn't even be mad. It's so funny because, like, I was not mad. I was just, like, I was laughing at that. But, like, it was, it stuck in my head. So, it was for a fucking reason. Like, I know the divine specifically set that shit up for me to, like, for that shit to, like, grind my gears to the point where, like, I'm ready to, like, go, 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 go for it just to prove somebody wrong. So, it was just that one person that clicked, nah, I'll pass. And I was just like, all right, bitch. Like, not to call her a bitch. I don't even know her like that, which was so crazy. Like, I don't know her like that. Um, I feel like probably my family knows her or something like that, but I don't really know her. She don't really, like, interact with my account like that or anything. So, it was just so weird. I found it so weird. So, I it was definitely not as a joke. You feel me? So I was just like, okay, sis, if it's not for you, okay, keep it scrolling, you know, boom, boom, boom. But it was just like, I know that shit had to happen in order for it to, for it to motivate me. You know, not to say like, I don't, I cared about like her not wanting to join or whatever, or not her not being interested. But it's just like, sometimes the divine will put people in place, like, like your haters in place in order for you to like, you know, to grind, like, really care about what you're doing, like, really go for it, you feel me? Because not everybody wants to see you win, not everybody wants to, you know, wants to, or not everybody is, in, is interested in what you have to do, or what you have to say, or what you are doing, you feel me? So, I just have to say that because, 
it was just so funny. And that has been stuck in my head, not to the point where, like that I was pressed, but it was just like, yeah, I know people, people going to see this evolution and I know I'm going to be successful. So it's so crazy because I think back and I'm like, yeah, you, I know you're going to regret that. Like, I know you're going to regret it in the long run. You feel me? And that's not my place to even make you regret. It's just something that you would do on your own. Like, you would start thinking about the shit that I start posting. Because once I start posting, the people that are joining my team, like Zaporia, like Maya, my soul sisters, like Peyton, like, and just the good that being aligned with people who understand you, like-minded individuals who understand you through mind, body, and soul health, like, the benefits, the energy, it would just be a vibrational thing. Like, you won't even be able to explain why you're so drawn to, to me, to my soul family, to my star family, because... It's just on a vibrational level, you know, like we are literally taking our own health in our own hands, like, you know, and we're helping ourselves and helping others along the way. So it's like doing that. We already doing the, the work with for the divine. So we already going to be blessed. So it's people like that, like that one person who was just like, nah, I'll pass, you know. It's people like that who later on down the, down the road, they're going to regret because they're going to see how mind, body, and soul health is so important. Not saying that karma would come against them, but I'm just saying like, listen, like sometimes people are quick to say no on something that they don't even know, like all the full information about you know some people are so quick to like close the door on a blessing that they don't even know that it is a blessing you feel me so it's like i had to take that as an example to speak on because now like i i have two people on my on my team now and i'm just like i just know like I'm going to continue to grow and grow my team and be aligned with people who actually want this. And it's so crazy because I'm glad this is not that kind of business where I have to convince people. Like, I don't have the energy to convince. Like, I used to be in sales. So, that kind of what it was. It was like a, it was damn near I was convincing people to buy AT&T or a, a, a add a line and stuff like that. Like, I would literally have to sit there and talk to them, like trying to sway them into one direction. And I know how I have the power of persuasion, but I would not like to use my power of persuasion in that way. You feel me? It needs to be natural. So I love how this business is natural. It's more so like I'm helping you. Like if you feel like it's not something that will help you, okay, boom, I'm gonna keep it going. You feel me? Because I'm taking the products myself and I know how what benefits it's giving me. It's giving me energy. I'm not taking a lot of naps no more. Like I started to lose weight myself, but you know, it's different for everybody. You feel me? So it's like people have certain uh, pain points in them that hurts them, you know, whether it's, you know, allergies, whether it's um, um, energy, whether it's, you know, just so many different things that people have like an issue with. So it's like, I know by taking these natural fruits and vegetables, you know, straight from the source. That's like straight from the source. Nothing is tampered with. Like we get in this, they get in this shit straight from farmers, y'all. Like that's what I'm saying. They get in this shit straight from farmers and it's put into capsules. So people won't have to like, you know, go out to the grocery store or go to the farmer's market to buy these vegetables and fruits and stuff like that all the time. You literally just take, you just drink it. You girl like sis or guy like it's just so easy it makes everything easy like i'm that type of person like i don't really care to be cooking like that i really don't so me getting the nutrients just by like waking up and taking um these these capsules like that's something that's so easy and it's benefiting me like it you don't taste nothing and even when you burp or anything like that you're not gonna taste it and it's like i'm not even promoting it like that but i'm just like i'm using myself as an example and i said y'all gonna see me as the blueprint you feel me so whoever is watching it can be the people that don't want to see me win you gonna see this glow from a mile away period because i know i'm doing the necessary i'm taking the necessary steps in order to like you know to evolve like to my greatest self so it's like people who are stuck and want to continue eating these processed ass food this these things that are not benefiting you these things are not benefiting you through skin hair or overall health like continue to do that like i'm just i just know like straight off the back like i'm not gonna be aligned with you so it's like okay sis you can stay your way over there you feel me so 
And now, like, that just took me, and I was just like, yeah, like, I know, like, I have to see that. Because it was like, okay, boom. Like, you know, your enemies, and I'm not saying she an enemy. <laughs> Y'all, I ain't saying she an enemy, but I'm just saying, like, people will start to show you who they are through things like that. And it's like, know that not everybody wants to see you win. And it's going to be people like that who, you know, who going to remind you that why you got to keep keep putting pressure on that metal, you know, on that pedal. I mean, you got to keep the foot on the gas. Okay. Because these people don't want to see you win. So it's like, in a sense, you prove to yourself and to others that like, you can do that shit. You feel me? So I just have to say that. And I'm just so glad that, you know, my sis joined my team. I'm so glad to be aligned with people who get me and I get them. You feel me? Like, I'm just so, so excited for what's to come. Like, I just posted her on my story and it's literally just the beginning. Like, y'all will see the evolution. Y'all will see how much, like, my life changes just by being aligned with people who resonate with me. Like, that's such a beautiful thing. Like, I've talked about it in my past um, readings, my past videos, like, how important it is to be aligned with people who genuinely support you. And I can see it now. Like, I, this is for the long run. Like, what? Like, I've been on that journey of... Uh, evolving of like elevating my health if you're not on that journey then obviously this will be nothing to you you know this will mean nothing to you like fruits and veggie capsules will mean nothing to you you feel me so you can stay stagnant in where you want to be okay but don't don't bring me with you because i'm not coming with you sis i'm going up there <laughs> and you will see me from a from afar you feel me so when i am successful when I am when I get to that point where I'm just like real really well off like don't have to do shit like money is coming to me those are the people people like that they're gonna come around and try to seek for my help seek for my mentorship you know stuff like that so I'm like you know don't count your blessings out like don't be quick to shut off your blessings you feel me because I know I'm sent into people's lives as a blessing. And if you pass me up, like, that's on you. I'm going to still be good at the, end, at the end of the day. You feel me? I'm going to still be good. But that was Star Shit of the Day. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the Star Cards. I hope y'all are doing good. I've been feeling real good. Y'all, I literally been journaling. And the way, like, things, downloads, I've been getting so many downloads, like... Child, who knows if that's a, I, I probably, it probably is another benefit of me like intaking straight from the source because I've been getting so many downloads and I know I've been telling myself I need to start journaling more. So, especially doing this, like, I was like, okay, like, I need to start taking my own advice and start journaling. So, I've literally been journaling. Like, I've been journaling. I wake up in the morning and I literally took the time to, like, put my phone upstairs in my room so that um, so that I won't be distracted. Because I said, let me try that for myself. Like, somebody made a YouTube video and she was like, she went 24 hours without her phone, without her phone or her laptop. And I was like, sis, you onto something. After I seen that video, I say, yeah, let me start just journaling, go outside in my backyard and just like you know journal like just write down what comes to mind you know and leave my phone upstairs because why do I need my phone if I'm sitting outside in nature you know so little by little I've been like trying to put my phone to the side and just kind of like journaling and I've been getting so many downloads of things to record like I have so many videos that I want to give out to you guys and I'm so excited because there's so many different topics like I had a dream about me doing a reading for y'all sis and I'm gonna do that like it's coming just wait but anyways Y'all, like, I cannot make this shit up. Why is this coming up again, y'all? Y'all not gonna believe this shit. This has come up, like, four or five times now. Like, my potential to, to succeed is infinite. What am I talking about? Y'all, y'all saw me shuffle this shit. I don't know if y'all saw me or not, but I was shuffling, okay? I was fucking shuffling. I cannot make this up. And what would I what was I just talking about? Me succeeding. Like this is affirming for me. Like this is confirmation for me that I'm saying every day. Every time I turn on this damn thing, this camera and I record this for y'all, like this is reminding me like my potential to succeed is infinite. And that's what I'm saying like y'all are seeing the beginning. And that's why I, I feel like even the haters are scared. They're shaking in their boots because 
Like I'm, I'm elevating and it's right before their eyes. Like that's why I said like God going to bless me right in front of these people's eyes. Like, and they going to hate it <laughs> because before I used to be real quiet. I wasn't saying nothing. I wasn't telling nobody my moves or nothing like that. But now it's like, I don't care. What's for me is destined for me. Nobody else can take what is for me. You feel me? That's why I said about before, like you are your, you are on your own journey. Nobody else can take your place. So I don't give a fuck. I know I I talk a lot. I know I I be I cannot hold nothing. My mouth is like water, like because I love to share. I love to help. Just because everybody else around me is not that kind of person, where like they might have unhealthy motives or like negative motives and stuff like that. That's none of my business. That's on them. Karma gonna get them because karma sees like the divine sees all. You feel me? That's not my karma. So it's like. Sis, I can share my story and I don't care. I know I will be successful. And this is literally just saying that. Like, it's confirmation right there. Like, I can't make this shit up, y'all. Like, y'all watching, okay? Y'all watching. And the people going to be mad. Some people going to be real mad. Like, I know I have a lot of love surrounding me right now. And a lot of people who really support me. But the people that don't like me, ooh, they going to be furious. They going to be real furious because I heavily believe that my potential to succeed is infinite. That's why it's coming up so much because I fucking know it. And th like I said, I'm not in the mood to persuade. I'm not in... I have the gift the gift of persuasion, but this is not to persuade y'all. This is telling y'all a fucking fact. And that's just that. Okay, so the next one that said that came in, it says, Everything I am looking for, I can find within me. Do y'all know how important that shit is? Like, that is so important. That is so important because back to like the soul portal and stuff like that and how it came about, like I was already like pouring into myself. Like I was already like cooking those HelloFresh meals and stuff like that. Things that was going to benefit me and stuff like that. And I was already saying like, okay, I need to add more nutrients and stuff like that. That's why I said people who are already in on that journey of self-love and self-care, that everything you're looking for, you will find within you. Like it will just come to you. Like it will come to you naturally because it's already within you. People who don't have that self-love and self-care for themselves inside, they're they gonna keep on seeking because they're seeking themselves out outwardly. You have to go within. You have to sit down within. And I gotta go back to that um that 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 girl that made a video about her putting her phone down for 24 hours y'all how many people can say that they can do that shit like we have been so like conditioned to our phones to technology like we have it's like a crutch like i know i talked about crutch already but it's literally like a crutch like we'll set our phone down and we'll be like wait where's our phone where's my phone because i know i do that shit <laughs> like i ain't gonna lie like and she was doing that in her youtube video i let me see her name her name was bria jones yes like so if you want to see her video, definitely check that out because she was like, she did that and she was like, I was, I was seeking everything outwardly, you know, like she put too much power into her cell phone, into her, her laptop and stuff like that. So her taking the time out to not be distracted by her cell phone and what's going on in the world allowed her to sit with herself. And it was like transformative for her because she was just like, wow, like, I, she was running away from the thoughts that she used to have in her head by like escaping to a distraction to outside things. So it allowed her to sit within and reflect. And that's why in this period, like people are doing that, reflecting who, who is in your life, you know, who are the people that actually pour into you like for the good, you know, like who are the people that drain you? They should not be in your life, you know, reflecting everything. But going back to that, it's like everything I am looking for, like I know I was looking for like-minded individuals. Like I was looking for people who cared about their mind, body, and soul health. And that's something that I found within myself. That's why I attracted it. And it goes to manifestation as well. Like you have to pour into yourself. You can't ask for things that you're not, you know, like it's in, I don't know if that, that just went over your head because that was a, that was a little thing right there. Like. You cannot ask for something that you're not. Like you don't see yourself as a loving person. Why are you attract? Why are you seeking love? You feel me? You don't see yourself pouring love within yourself. You're not gonna be attracting love in return. 
You feel me? Like, you have to understand. That's how manifestation works. Everything that you are looking for, everything that you are seeking is within. It's not outside of you. You feel me? Like, it's not outside of you. My person will be a reflection of me. Period. And that's just on that. Like, we gonna talk about, you know, person and love and stuff like that because I already know I'm gonna record a video soon. And I'm going to talk about that. But, yeah, for this uh, video purpose in general, like, yeah, we're going to keep it at that. Like, you have to be the person that you that you seek, period. You have to become the person that you seek. And that's just that. Okay? So, we're moving right along. And y'all see me, like, I'm really shuffling these cards. Like, I can't really make that up. Like, the way that shit came out, like, five fucking times now, that's crazy. Don't say I know I don't know how to shuffle because the divine said I need to see that again. <laughs> okay. But especially with the message that I had behind that, because y'all. That was crazy. But uh, I'm so excited because I've really been on my, you know, consistent shit. Okay. Like sometimes I'll be like, oh shoot, like I probably I'm pushing these out, but it's like, I just have so many downloads. Like, y'all, like, I cannot make it up. Like, and I love it. And now that I'm writing, like, I'm back writing for Referral, it's for a reason. Like, because the Divine wanted me to be writing, like, you know, um, my dreams and stuff like that down. And I was just like, it's okay. I don't got to do it. But it says... I do because I be writing shit down like of movies that I've watched that I'm watching now, you know, the message behind things so I can talk about with you guys and it's just beautiful. All right. So this one came out and says, today I make a difference. Today I will stay focused, work hard and do my very best at everything I do. And that just, that just sums up what I was even talking about just now. Because literally, I've been like, I've been very, very productive. And it's not like, I'm not saying I'm working blood, sweat, and tears. But it's it's something that I love doing. Like, I really, I just have to realize, like, I really do like pushing out content on, on YouTube. Like, I really like doing this. Like, you know, with affirmation cards. And I'm really like staying focused on that. Putting my en energy in that. But also like building my team. Like, I really love, like, I have to say, all throughout my journal, journal these past three days, I've been saying like, I really love my life right now. Like, I really love what I'm doing because I am making a difference. I'm making a difference for people in their lives. Like, even my soul says she even just, like, was telling me how much her videos really, really helped her. And I know it's helping a lot of other people as well because, like, I'm not just saying no bullshit. Like, this is straight from the source. Like, I'm getting downloads, like, as I'm recording this, you know? Like, I'm literally a vessel to help, you know, people who might need to hear something, you know? So, it's like, I really, really love what I'm doing. And I this is literally me doing my best. Like, I really want to get the best word out there. Like, you know, like, F all the visuals and all how it look. I'm talking about you going to hear me what I'm saying. Like, that's just that. You feel me? You going to hear what I got to say. Because most, nine times out of ten is something that you need to hear at that point. You know? And it always resonates. That's what my sis was saying. She was like, it just always resonates. Because I'm going, I'm with y'all on this journey. That's why, I like, this is not to put myself on a pedestal. Nah, I'm with y'all on this journey. Like, for real, for real. So, as I'm walking along this journey, I'm seeing the lessons that the divine is teaching me. And so I'm like, I'm giving y'all an insight of what the divine may be teaching y'all so y'all can get out of that rut if y'all may be in a rut. You feel me? So this one, it says, today I am loved. Today I will know in my heart that I deserve love and respect. Oh, this is a good one too. Y'all, like, just like I said from before, like, everything that I am looking for, I can find within me. That's the same stuff. And look how these cards look the same. That's crazy. And it's my, like my nails, y'all. Look. Y'all, I cannot make this up. And what did I say in my, I said it in my last video. It was like, blue and pink is literally my favorite color. Like, my soul loves blue and, and my physical eyes like pink. So it's just, uh, the divine is like, I'm well connected, y'all. Y'all gotta, <laughs> I'm sure by this point, y'all realize how connected I am with the divine. But let me get to the message. <laughs> 
So today I am love, y'all. Like, when I tell you I am a being, like, of love. Like, that's, I've already said this, how much I love love. And I pour love into myself. That's why love is all surrounding me. Like, I'm surrounded by love through the divine, my ancestors, my, my cool-ass spiritual team. You know, like, my soul sisters, like... People who genuinely support me, my star family, like I'm literally surrounded by love. So, and I, and I pour love into myself. That's why I know, like, I fucking deserve love and respect. Like this, this next relationship, like whatever relationship I'm gonna be in next, like, listen, <laughs> I know myself. Like, watch that video of I know thy know thyself, okay? Before like you try to look at any kind of like relationship or anybody outside of you yourself, and that's why I said like the next relationship that I ever put myself in because the last relationship I, I can't even call it was a relationship. It was just tragic. Okay, I'm gonna get into it in an upcoming video, but it was just tragic. But um, yeah, like. You gotta, you gotta know where you at, okay, sis? Your standards have to be there, like, and that's what I'm saying. You can't just have these high standards and you're not, you can't even meet the damn standard yourself. You feel me? You can't have high standards. I can meet the high standards that I'm setting for myself because I am that, period. I'm the fucking blueprint and that's just on that, okay? So, like, that's why I know I fucking deserve love and respect, from whoever decides to pursue me. You feel me? Like, I'm not, this ain't no, oh, you can get all the benefits. I'm a benefit, period. Just by being around me, you blessed. And that's just on that. And if you don't feel the same way for yourself, you feel like, oh, the only thing you can offer is your body. Like, the only thing you can offer is your punani and this, this, and that, whatever. Sis, that's low self-worth. You got to look within and be like, okay, there's more qualities to myself than just that. Like, come on, y'all. Like, girl, you got to girl or guy like you have to look within you have to pour love into yourself in order to love all parts of yourself you have to love all parts of yourself in order to bring in a, some kind of love connection from somebody else you feel me like you can't just say i really want love i really want love because every every person that you you know you impatiently go towards is gonna fail because you're not going you're not moving on the divine's plan you're moving on your plan because you're impatient, because you're 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 thirsty. <laughs> and I was trying to find a, a different word, but child, that's the one that wants to come out. You're being thirsty. Like you have to you be dehydrated. Like you have to hydrate yourself, pour into yourself, and then whoever you attract will be a reflection of you. And that's just that. Like, look at your past relationships. See how it failed. Like, don't put everything on that person. No, the person that you attracted was a reflection of yourself. And that's just on that. Like, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> all right. And the next one says, today I am at peace. Today I am at peace with all that has happened, all that is happening, and all that will happen. Oh, I'm about to cry. <laughs> Y'all, uh, I have to put this because this, this might be the picture. Y'all, I can't make this up. And when I tell y'all, like, that's why these cards are coming out because literally this is, this is, this is my place right now. I literally, in my journal, I've been journaling. And I'm like, y'all, I am I was just writing in my journal, like, I'm really at peace. Like, I'm really at peace. They said, you're at peace with all that has happened, the past. I'm so at peace with the past. I'm so at peace with all the people that I've gave my energy to. And it's okay. Like, it all happened for a fucking reason. I am at peace with all that is happening. I got a new team in. I'm surrounded by love. Like, people who genuinely wants to see me win you feel me like ugh, like I really am at peace I really have to tell myself I'm like oh my goodness I really love my life like I really do just because it's not everything I dreamed of it's everything I need in this exact fucking moment and once the pieces start and start to unfold it will just be moving like I, I can't I wouldn't be able to even grasp what is happening in in my reality because like the divine has something planned so fucking magical and out of this world I won't my this this Petra in this time in, in this time at this point this present Petra would not be able to understand or grasp the amount of blessings that I'll be having in, in my future uh for my future self I'm telling you like 
and all that will happen. I already touched on that. Like my future self would not would not be able to grasp what is happening right now, y'all. Like I'm so freaking excited and I'm just so at peace with everything. I'm literally surrendering and I'm just like I'm letting the divine take over and just do what you want to do. Like I'm literally on back mode. Like I'm backseat mode. Like I'm just I'm surrendering like y'all like I'm telling you once you surrender all will work out and that's just that like all will work out and that's what I'm saying like y'all have to see that like it's gonna be it's gonna be magical that's all I gotta say like it will be magical like ugh, I'm so happy all right, and then we're going to get into these cards. And I forgot to say, if you do have a question, um, go ahead and answer that. What am I saying? If you do have a question um, for your angels and your spirits, guys, we will, they will go ahead and answer that. And then through me, I'll give you the answer. All right. So we'll do this one. Y'all, I'm, I'm really flowing through this shit. Like, uh, that's how I know, like. I'm so well connected and I love helping y'all too. Like, just because I'm not getting the fruits of this yet, like, stay tuned, y'all. Like, it's coming. And I heavily believe that. You feel me? I really, really believe that. All right. Angel, spirit, guys, ancestors, go ahead and give me a message for my listeners and viewers right now, please. And thank you. What do my listeners and viewers need to hear right now? you and viewers need to hear right now it's too many i'll just get those two all right um, i'll get this top card as well because <laughs> it's right in my face okay all right so this one came out oh and it has mountains nice me and my soul sister was just talking about mountains okay like we're gonna be surrounded by mountains and everything okay let me get into it so it says i am flexible and willing to change my mind yes and i've already talked about um having an open mind and everything do y'all see the mountains like look how cute like oh my goodness anyways um so yeah i am flexible and willing to change my mind and that's what i love which is so crazy like um i was just talking about this with my sources and we were just saying like so many views that we have like we are so open-minded we are so like ready to have our minds be changed changed and blown away you know like because there's so many people that have so many set views and i've already talked about this um when it comes to like religion and stuff like that about god and like the divine and you know it's just like that's why you're not growing and that's why i said i want this channel to help y'all like evolve the way that y'all think and look at things and be more perceptive about the things that you know you take in because so many things are so are still so boxed in and so limited that you're not able to expand your mind. And it's just like, no, like you should be willing to change your mind about something that you thought about in the past. Like I've changed my mind so many damn times. Like it's just it's so what? It's like you're learning and you're growing. You can't have the same mindset that you had as a 12 year old. <laughs> like and that's just that like you really cannot your mind has to change it has to grow it has it has to expand so you have to be flexible and willing to change your mind especially when you're if you're watching this channel okay like if you're watching this channel you got to like uh, i already know so many people people probably stopped watching after the religious uh, uh video which wasn't even religious i think it was a know that so video because it's their definition of of God is doesn't align with mine. But it's like if you really think on it, it does align. Like, cause God is love. And what is love? You answer that question for yourself. All right. <laughs> All right. And then this one came out. Oh, and this one, is it a lotus? Oh, I can't wait for my sister to see this because she's definitely had this a, a download about a lotus before. Um, it says, I enjoy taking care of my body. Look at this, y'all. Look how cute. Like, 
that's a lotus that's so beautiful and that's the whole thing about going back to my star shit today like mind body and soul health it all has to look at this look hold on y'all because i'm literally seeing that shit literally it's all about mind body and soul this whole thing was about mind body and soul this one is talking about the mind the about the i'm flexible and willing to change my mind and this one says i enjoy taking care of my body it all comes together like it's all together and i'm feeding y'all stuff for the soul so y'all can understand it you feel me so y'all can understand it i need to start saying that um, and then this one, another one, it says, I have an open and receptive mind. Y'all, I cannot make this shit up. More people in this world need to have open and receptive minds. Like, you have to be willing to be flexible, to change your mind about things. Like, you know, you can't stay stuck in what, in what just the Bible says. Because not everything in the Bible is legit like it has truth in it but it's also hidden that truth is hidden for people who don't look in the depth of for of things you know if you can't think deeper about certain things and you take things at face value you'll be stuck in the limitations that the bible brings and that's just on that like i've had this conversation before and it's just like like y'all y'all have to y'all have to understand that like y'all have to look at things in a deeper way you know, like you can't take things for face value. You cannot. And I feel like you've already learned this lesson over and over again through social media, through everything, through people who look good on the outside and don't look good on the inside. It's the same thing. You have to look in the depth. You have to look at somebody's soul. You have to look at the deeper meaning behind things, you know, because if you don't, then you'll be stuck. You won't elevate. You won't grow. You know, so it's like, it's so crazy that I'm literally about mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and soul, y'all. I'm definitely, that's definitely the whole title of this, <laughs> of this uh, segment. Because, y'all, like, it's so, so important. That's why I'm glad, like, I'm aligned with the soul portal. Because they speak heavily on mind, body, and soul. And just those three words, like, if I don't grasp you, if I don't grasp you with those three words, we not aligned. <laughs> and that's just that, like... If once I say my body and soul health, if that doesn't get your attention, that's okay. I don't need to convince you. I really don't. You can see what works for you and just see how my life turns out. Cause I know, I know people need to see an example, you know, but I was, I, I came into this world as a leader. So it's like, I don't care to take the risk. And I know like y'all. be talking my shit y'all and the divine be confirming it and that's why i love like our relationship i really do and look look what came out first yes everything that i'm saying right now confirmation everything that i'm saying right now confirmation and then the next one came out was wait though and what have i been talking about patient being patient I've already said, like, you cannot be rushing because you're tired, you're desperate, you're thirsty for what you seek, and you decide to go on your own plan and not wait for the divine. Listen, it would not work out. It would be a waste of time. Would you much rather have something that's a waste of time, a waste of time, a waste of energy, versus you waiting, you sitting with yourself and waiting until your number is called? You have to pick what's best for you. I know for me, I would much rather wait. I do not like my energy being wasted. I do not like my time being wasted. And that situation from in the past when I was rushing to like see what a relationship would, would be about, how a relationship worked, it was trash. Like it was a waste of time. It was a waste of time. And that's what I'm saying. It was on both our parts because it was just like, I was just one, I was just going into it for the experience, literally. And what did I get? A bad experience. <laughs> I didn't even say I wanted a good experience. I just said I want I want an experience. And that's what it was. So it's like, wait, sit with yourself, ask yourself what exactly you want, what exactly you seek. Once you figure out what exactly you seek, you have to be those things for yourself. 
And once you wait, sit in that waiting period, because I already told y'all, I've told y'all time and time again, I'm currently in my waiting period and look what's coming. Like I'm getting all the blessings now. Like, you know, do y'all see the blessings that's unfolding right now? Bro, I can't make this shit up. And everything I'm saying is literally com confirming everything I've already said. Like, said yes. Like, yes. The time, you're, you're literally right. Like, I know I'm right there. It's like you almost at the tip of the fucking iceberg. But I have to wait right now. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm okay with that. Y'all have to be okay with sitting with yourselves. And waiting until the perfect moment. Because there's a time for everything. I know time is definitely an illusion. But it's like, in this sense, you you can't rush into shit. You know, you have to wait. Like, yes, everything you you want and you're seeking and all of that is there for you. is coming towards you. You just have to wait. And that's the reading for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... Thank y'all so, so, so much. Like, I'm so glad and I can't wait to see. Well, let me just change that. I am so ready to see what the future holds for us, for me, for this channel. Like, it's going to be out of this world, y'all. And just stay along for the ride. Y'all stay flowing, glowing, and growing. Bye.